Morphine sulfate is a medication that is used as an adjunct in anesthesia for analgesia. Morphine sulfate is best for severe constant pain as it increases the pain threshold. It produces its effects without loss of touch, proprioception, or consciousness. It is a neural axial analgesia adjunct and can provide analgesia for up to 24 hours. It relieves dyspnea associated with acute pulmonary edema and has implications in the relief of severe cough. Morphine acts by binding to specific receptors located throughout the central nervous system. The major types of opioid receptors associated with morphine are mu, kappa, and delta. Primarily, the mu receptor mediates respiratory depression and analgesia. Morphine produces analgesia and to a lesser extent sedation by binding and activating G protein coupled receptors, typically the GI subtype, resulting in enzyme and ion channel regulation. The effects of the GI protein receptor activation include increased potassium cellular efflux with the resultant hyperpolarization and reduced neurotransmitter release, reduced calcium conductance decreasing depolarization and activity and inhibition of adenylocyclase, which results in reduced activation of CAMP and thus inhibiting CAMP-dependent cellular processes. Morphine can dampen nociceptive input by indirect and direct means. Indirectly, binding of morphine in the brain activates the descending pain pathway and inhibits the activity of sensory dorsal horn neurons that pathway includes the release of endogenous opioids at the dorsal horn and the activation of descending noradrenergic neurons which release norepinephrine and cause alpha-2 receptor-mediated analgesia at the dorsal horn. Directly at the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, the binding of morphine to GI protein-coupled receptors inhibits the release of excitatory neurotransmitters, which are glutamate and substance P. In addition, a sense of euphoria experienced by the patient is a result of stimulation of dopaminergic neurons in the nucleus accumbens. As mentioned previously, morphine has agonistic effects on the mu, kappa, and delta receptors. The mu receptor is responsible for respiratory depression and analgesia. The kappa receptor stimulation results in sedation. The delta receptor causes urinary retention and decreased GI motility, resulting in constipation. Here we see the effects of morphine binding and activating the GI protein coupled receptor, resulting in inhibition of adenylocyclase, which results in reduced activation of CAMP, preventing CAMP-mediated cellular processes. Another effect of morphine binding and activating the GI protein coupled receptor is hyperpolarization of the cell with increased potassium conductance and decreased neurotransmitter release. Morphine is supplied in IV or PO form, but we will focus on the IV formulation as this is primarily utilized in anesthesia. Morphine comes supplied as a 10 milligrams per milliliter vial. The loading dose of morphine IV push is 2.5 to 10 milligrams with a maintenance drip of 0.5 to 10 milligrams per hour. Given IM or sub Q, the dose is 2.5 to 20 milligrams every three to four hours. In an epidural, it can be a single dose of one to six milligrams or an infusion rate of 0.1 to one milligram per hour. Subarachnoid is a single dose of 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams. The onset of IV morphine for analgesia administration is 5 to 20 minutes, with a peak of 60 minutes and a duration of 3 to 4 hours. Given IM, the onset is 15 to 30 minutes, with a peak of 45 to 90 minutes and a duration of 4 hours. In an epidural, the onset is 30 minutes, with a duration of 6 to 24 hours. Subarachnoid administration results in an onset of 15 minutes with a duration of 8 to 24 hours. 
Most opioids depend primarily on the liver for biotransformation. Morphine undergoes conjugation with glucuronic acid to form morphine 3 glucuronide and morphine 6 glucuronide with 90% ultimately eliminated by the kidneys. 25 to 35 percent of morphine is plasma protein bound. The active metabolite, morphine 6 glucuronide, is an active analgesic two to four times more potent than morphine and has a significant role in chronic morphine use as its buildup can result in sedation and respiratory implications. The metabolite morphine 3 glucuronide can be neuroexcitatory. Elimination of metabolites M3G and M6G is by the kidneys and can make renal patients more prone to respiratory depression with smaller doses. Although morphine is an effective analgesic, it provides no muscle relaxation. The use of this medication also causes respiratory depression and depressed response to hypercarbia. A significant side effect of morphine is nausea and vomiting, by its direct stimulation of mu receptors on the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the area postrema located along the floor of the fourth ventricle of the lateral medulla. Even with high doses, opioids maintain hemodynamic and cardiac stability. Morphine has been shown to cause histamine release. In neuroaxial anesthesia, morphine has a slower onset but longer duration than other opioids and the patient should be monitored for delayed respiratory depression. Here are some links for more information about morphine sulfate. And finally, these were the resources used in the production of this presentation. Thank you very much.